Hi everyone, this is Mark of Tech Pinas. How are you? I hope you and your family are doing well amidst this pandemic. Sana po ay nakakaraos naman tayong lahat sa kabila ng mga challenges ng pandemic na kinakaharap natin. So in this new Tech Pinas video, I'm going to give you a quick review on this new handset that our friends from Infinix sent me. So this is the Infinix Hot 10S. At available po ito sa dalawang versions. No? Meron tayong 4 gigs RAM plus 64 gigs internal storage version. At ang presyo po niyan ay 5,490. Meron din naman yung more powerful na with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of ROM. At yun naman na may presyo 6,490. So, bali 1,000 ang kanilang price difference. No? Okay, so, para lang mas maging siguro mas maganda at maging mas engaging ang video natin, magbibigay na lang ako ng 10 reason kung bakit napakagandang upgrade nitong phone na to para dun sa mga medyo budget conscious na mga mobile consumers natin na sa ngayon eh, nagpaplano ng mag-upgrade sa mas powerful na device para sa mobile gaming and also for online learning or maybe for work from home arrangements. Okay, so samahan nyo ako in giving you the 10 things I like about the Infinix Hot 10S. Alright, so simulan na natin. Let's go! Okay, so unang bagay na gusto ko dito sa smartphone na to ay yung magandang design niya. So if you can see here, ayan siya. This is the Infinix Hot 10S. So kanina na-mention ko yung presyo niya. It's 5,490 and 6,490. And actually, when you look at the phone, kung makita ninyo, it actually looks more expensive than it actually is. And I think dahil yan dito sa kanyang high gloss finish, pati na rin yung kanyang magandang design language sa likod. No? Yan yung parang meron siyang parang concentric lines sa nagpo-form ng diamonds. Ayan siya. No? At nag-iiba-iba yung, ano eh, yung gleam niya, yung shine niya, depending on how light hits it. So for me, napaka-elegant and sophisticated talaga ng design ng Infinix Hot 10S. Ito yung tipong telepono na hindi ka maihiyang dalin kahit nasa dates ka o kaya sa mga meetings mo. No? Kasi napaka- uh, attractive niya and very eye-catching din ang kanyang design language. Ayan. So that's my first thing I like about this phone. Pangalawang bagay na gustong gusto ko dito sa Infinix Hot 10S ay yung kanyang malaking 6.82 inch HD Plus IPS display. So syempre, pag mas malaki ang screen, mas enjoyable din ang ating viewing experience. Pero ang maganda dito sa screen na to, hindi lang siya malaki, pero very brilliant din yung colors niya. At dahil nga sa kanyang size, hindi rin mahirap mag-thumb type dito sa screen na to. Syempre, we would appreciate kung Full HD Plus ang resolution. Pero nga dahil din sa price ng phone na to, HD Plus lang siya. Pero again, based on my experience in using this phone in two weeks na, no? dalawang linggo ko na siyang ginagamit. Para sa akin, malino na rin yung HD Plus resolution nitong 6.82 inch display na to. So, panalong-panalo siya given the price of the phone. Okay, so number three ay yung kanyang triple rear camera module. So, ayan siya. Itong Infinix Hot 10S ay may tatlong camera sa likod. So, meron tong 48 megapixel main camera, 2 megapixel depth sensor, at meron din siyang dedicated AI camera. So, yung pinaka-best sa kanilang tatlo pagdating sa everyday point-and-shoot photography at pagdating na rin sa, syempre, sa low-light performance, yan yung kanyang 48 megapixel main camera. So, yan yung pinaka-powerful sa bunch ng cameras na yan. Yung pangalawa ay yung 2 megapixel depth sensor. So para sa bayan sa mga nagtatanong no, kung ang makikita ninyo meron tayong mode sa ating mga camera phones na portrait mode kung saan yung ating subject malino na malino siya tapos yung nasa likod medyo blurred. Sa mga telepono natin naa-achieve yan by using a depth sensor. Yung depth sensor, figure out niya kung ano ba yung subject at kung ano yung background. At nag-work yan sa imaging algorithm or sa software ng ating camera 
para maging mas maganda yung blurring ng background sa ating mga portrait shots. And then finally, meron din itong dedicated AI camera. So, I think ka, ang ginagawa nito ay figure out niya kung ano ba yung kinukunan natin ng litrato at automatically, nag-work siya sa software para i-adjust yung settings. So, halimbawa, pag kumukuha tayo ng picture ng food, uh, figure out ng camera na yon na food nga yung kinukunan natin ng picture at mas bring out niya yung colors ng mga kinakain natin para maging mas appetizing sa mga photos. Okay, so yan yung pangatlong bagay na gustong-gusto ko dito sa Infinix Hot 10S, ang kanyang triple rear camera module. Okay, so pang-apat, para dun sa mga mahilig kumuha ng selfie and groupies with their loved ones, ang phone na to, the Infinix Hot 10S, has an 8 megapixel front facing camera. So mataas yung resolution na yan for selfies, no? At ang maganda pa dito, ang phone na to ay merong dalawang LED flash sa harap. So, ayan siya. Kaya naman talaga, kahit siguro nasa uh, dark room ka or maybe in a bar na hindi ganun kalakas yung ambient light, no? hindi ganun kaliwanag. Talaga nga namang malino na malino pa rin ang selfies and groupies ninyong barkada. So, yan yung pang-apat na gustong gusto ko dito sa Android smartphone na to. Ang kanyang 8 megapixel front facing camera with dual LED flash. Ganda. Okay, so yung number 5 naman ay ideal para sa mga budding YouTube content creators pero nagsisimula pa lang sila at ang gusto nilang gamitin muna sa pag-shoot ng videos ay yung kanilang Android smartphones. So, ang Infinix Hot 10S ay kayang mag-record ng 2K videos gamit ang main camera at the back and also the front facing camera. Yes, pareho 'yan, yung dalawang 'yan, ano. So, ano bang maganda sa 2K video recording, no? Una, sa YouTube, kapag nag-upload ka ng video in 2K, magiging mas maganda yung compression no video mo. Ibig sabihin, hindi ganon magiging matindi yung artifacting o parang hindi medyo maluluso yung quality ng videos na ina-upload mo. So basically, yun lang naman yun, no? parang just to simplify the idea. So isa yan sa mga tricks na ginagawa ng mga malalaking YouTube content creators na nag upload sila in higher resolution para maging mas maganda at mas uh, maging visually pleasing sa kanilang mga tagapanood. Pangalawa, maganda rin ang 2K because it is a way for you to future-proof your videos on YouTube. So eventually, habang mas bumibilis yung internet connection natin at lalong tumataas yung resolution ng mga screens natin or mga televisions natin, syempre, mas pipiliin natin manood ng mga videos in higher resolution. And lalo na ngayon, meron na tayong mga 4K videos no, na talagang mas malinaw compared sa Full HD. Although 2K is slightly lower resolution compared sa 4K, mas mataas naman yan sa Full HD. So again, kapag yung mga tao naghahanap ng mga mas malalaki at mas malilino na videos, syempre mas pipiliin yung work mo if it's already in a higher resolution compared to the usual that they watch. Okay, so the 2K video recording capability of the Infinix Hot 10S, panalo yan for me. Number six is for the mobile gamers, no? So, if you're still playing, for example, Mobile Legends on a quad-core phone na medyo aging na rin at hindi nyo mataas yung frame rate ninyo o yung quality ng graphics sa laro, maybe it's time for you to upgrade to the Infinix Hot 10S. Why? Because this phone is powered by a 12 nanometer, 2 gigahertz MediaTek Helio G85 processor with Mali G52 MC2 GPU. Although itong processor na to ay hindi yung pinaka powerful na meron ang MediaTek currently, nasa G series pa rin siya. And I think this is already in the higher end category pagdating sa mga ino offer na chipsets ng MediaTek. Kaya naman kung mahilig kang mag Mobile Legends at gusto mo na rin ma-experience yung buttery smooth gameplay with high frame rate. So, kung gusto mo nang maka-experience ng buttery smooth gameplay with high frame rate, pag naglalaro ka ng Mobile Legends or any other resource intensive game on your Android smartphone, baka panahon na na i-check out mo ang Infinix Hot 10S. So this is a clip of me playing Mobile Legends on this smartphone. Check it out.
While I'm showing you Mobile Legends gameplay on the Infinix Hot 10S, I want to invite you to join a giveaway that I'm doing in partnership with our friends from Infinix. And we are giving away 300 Mobile Legends Bang Bang Diamonds. And it's so easy to join. So first, you just need to share this YouTube video on your own Facebook timeline with the hashtag KOLXInfinixHot10S. Next, you have to like and follow the Infinix Facebook page. Then, you need to leave a comment on this YouTube video on what feature of Infinix Hot 10S you like the most. I will choose one winner and I will announce it later this week. Okay, so if you play Mobile Legends and you are a big fan of this game, make sure you join our giveaway. Alright! Number 7, para dun sa ating mga students and young professionals na ginagamit yung mga kanilang mga smartphones para sa online learning and also for work from home arrangement, nagamit din natin ito for play. So para sa panonood ng mga YouTube videos, playing mobile games, and also watching TV series sa Netflix or other uh, video streaming applications. So kung marami talaga kayong applications na nidaran sa inyong mga Android smartphones, definitely ma-appreciate ninyo yung amount of RAM ng Infinix Hot 10S. So earlier I talked about the two versions of this phone. One has 4 gigs of RAM and the other has 6 gigs of RAM. So syempre, yung 6 gigs mas maganda yung multitasking experience na makukuha nyo dyan. Pero panalo na rin sa 4 gigs na version, no? especially kung magagaling kayo sa, uh, sa inyong medyo luma na, na entry level smartphone na meron pa lang 2 gigs of RAM. So makapansin nyo na rin yung difference pagdating sa launching of applications or maybe jumping from one application to another na nakabukas na. Okay, so that's the seventh thing I like about the Infinix Hot 10S, the large amount of RAM that you can enjoy on it. Number eight, I related pa rin sa internal hardware. Earlier na mention ko yung processor, yung RAM, at ngayon naman yung kanyang internal storage. So again, dalawa yung version. Yung isa meron 64 gigs ROM at yung isa naman ay meron 128 gigs of ROM. So for me, napakalaking treat nito sa isang smartphone that costs less than 7,000 pesos. So personally, ko kaya tatawagin mo, I would personally get the one with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage at 6,490. 128 gigs talaga nga namang pasok na pasok dyan lahat ng mga, um, mga application or games na nagre-require ng malaking storage on your phone no? kasama na din yung Genshin Impact yung ating Call of Duty and even Mobile Legends malalaki na several gigs na ang nire-require ng mga games na yan para ma-download mo sila ma-install sa phone at ma-enjoy mo sila fully no? and kanina na mention ko na merong 2K video recording capability tong phone na to and with that malalaki talaga yung mga files na pwede mong magawa when you're recording such a high resolution video camera meron ding 48 megapixel main camera at 8 megapixel front facing camera itong Infinix Hot 10S at malalaki talaga yung mga files ng mga litrato na makukuha natin from this phone so yung 128 gigs of internal storage ay talaga nga namang ma-appreciate natin on this phone pero kung ang budget ninyo ay para dun sa 4 gigs RAM plus 64 gigs of internal storage, pwede na rin diba? yun nga lang, syempre medyo mas mabilis din na mapupuno yan kapag marami talaga tayong applications or games na i-install dito sa phone na to and also kung madalas tayong kumuha ng videos and in that case, siguro uh, maybe from time to time we can transfer files to our laptop or our desktop no para to free up space din pero yun nga for me i recommend the one with 6 gigs of ram and 128 gigs of storage i think for 6490 panalo ka na the ninth thing I like about the Infinix Hot 10S ay yung kanyang napakalaking 6,000 mAh lithium polymer battery pack. 
So kung heavy gamer ka, with such a large battery, talaga nga namang kahit buong araw kang mag-gaming on this phone, hindi mo siya kakailangan ng i-charge to an electrical outlet because it has run out of juice prematurely. And for casual users who just use their smartphones for browsing social media applications, watching YouTube videos, or maybe TV series on Netflix, and also uh, using the phone for messaging, baka nga tumagal pa ng multiple days yung battery life coming from the 6,000 milliamp hours lithium polymer pack. No? So, 2 to 3 days siguro pasok pa yan. So, kapag ganyang kalaki yung battery ng telepono mo, definitely, you won't have to always carry a large power bank with you everywhere you go para lang siguraduhin na hindi ka mauubusan ng battery on your smartphone in the middle of the day. So, it also gives you great peace of mind when you're out and about with this smartphone. Okay, so that's the large battery of the Infinix Hot 10S. So, number 10. The 10th thing I like about the Infinix Hot 10S is the very active online and social media community of Infinix here in the Philippines. So, dahil nga sa padami ng padami na ang fans ng Infinix nationwide at very active din ang brand in engaging their followers, talaga nga namang mas maganda ang conversation pagdating sa Infinix smartphones dito sa bansa natin. No? So, all you have to do is to follow Infinix on its social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and also Instagram. At ang maganda dyan, eh, kung meron kayong mga tanong tungkol sa inyong smartphone, pwedeng sagutin din kayo ng inyong mga fellow Infinix smartphone users at maybe magbibigayan din kayo ng tips sa isa't isa on how we can further uh, improve our Infinix mobile smartphone experience. Even dito sa YouTube, dumarami na rin ang mga reviews about Infinix Android smartphones. So, kung meron din kayo mga gusto ninyong sabihin, kung meron na kayo nitong Infinix Hot 10S at meron kayong gustong i-share, feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. So, ayan, that's the 10th thing I like about the Infinix Hot 10S the very active online community of Infinix here in the Philippines. Okay, so I've given you the 10 things that I like about the Infinix Hot 10S. And to make this review fair, I'll be giving you some things that I think Infinix can improve on in making the follow-up model to this device. No? So, una, gusto ko sana na yung susunod, eh, meron na siyang USB Type-C charging port. Because this one still has the older micro USB 2.0 charging port. So yung USB Type C, it can also give you faster data transfers when you're connecting the phone to a laptop or to a desktop, no? And at the same time, dahil nga sa pareho yung kanyang upper and lower parts, yung USB Type C, hindi mo nang siya kailangan tignan when you're plugging it in. Unlike sa micro USB 2.0. Kasi nga yung uh, upper part mas malawak kaysa dun sa baba. So, you can potentially damage the charging port uh, if you're not going to look at it or kung hindi ka pasanay sa pag-plug nung cord na yon sa charging port. Okay, so ano ba yung pangalawa? Another point for improvement. So, I hope that the follow-up device to this one would have another camera with an ultra-wide angle lens. So, sa ngayon, wala pa yan dito sa Infinix Hot 10S. Maganda rin kasi yung ultra-wide angle camera for capturing landscape or architectural photos. And also, pagka meron tayong trip with our family and friends, ang ating barkada, mas din, mas kuha lahat sa picture <laughs> yung uh, ating buong family, yung buong barkada without us having to move masyadong sa likod, no? just to get everyone in the shot. So with an ultra-wide angle camera, uh, magiging easier then to take such kinds of photos. So, yun lang naman for me. Uh, isa pa pala, no, na maganda dito sa phone na to, nakita ko ngayon meron siyang fingerprint uh, scanner at the back. So this one adds another layer of protection 
uh, along with facial recognition software. So, para yan dun sa mga tingin na tingin sa mga content ng phone natin without our knowledge, with this one, it can add a good layer of privacy and security for us. So, ngayon lang, na napansin ko kasi while looking at the phone. So, that's another uh, positive. No? So, there you go. I hope naging balansyado naman ang aking uh, take or ang aking review sa Infinix Hot 10S. To wrap up, I just want to remind everyone that the Infinix Hot 10S is still available here in the Philippines. So, you can get this at the official online store of Infinix as well as at all authorized Infinix dealers nationwide. So, muli po, the 4 gigs RAM version with 64 gigs of internal storage sells for 5,490 at yun namang version with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage goes for 6,490 pesos. The Infinix Hot 10S features a polycarbonate shell with a high gloss finish and an interesting design pattern. Okay, so this phone is available in four colorways. Black, purple, morandi green, and heart of the ocean. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Tech Pinas YouTube channel. Like this video and share this with your friends. Also, leave a comment. Uh, please help us in uh, getting a better algorithm for Tech Pinas no? by doing all of that. So again, this is Mark of Tech Pinas. Bye for now. Stay safe and see you again soon.